Ten years to the day after he was gunned down, Chia Vichia's supporters gathered to pay their respects at his statue, located just metres from where he was murdered. Though the turnout was no larger than in previous years, it was a significant show of support, given the recent government ban on public gatherings. Police had strictly enforced that ban, but kept their distance this time, as workers from the garment factories Vichia represented congregated with opposition and union leaders. Among the mourners, opposition leader Sam Rainsey, a close friend of Vichia and his predecessor at Free Trade Union, as well as newer faces of the workers' movement. Chia Vichia was the charismatic leader of the powerful Free Trade Union and a perennial thorn in the government's side as he fought for better conditions in Cambodian factories. Memories of his killing in 2004 have remained strong ever since, fuelled by the farcical court investigation into his murder. Despite lacking any evidence linking them to the crime, the court charged these two men, Born Sam Nung and Sok Samuan, with the murder shortly afterward. It's interesting to look at the record of the court cases of these killings. Every court procedure has been about two guys who didn't do it, and the question of whether they did it or not. None of the investigation has been about who did do it. And there's a very obvious reason why. There's, they know who did it, and it's them. They were finally acquitted last year after almost a decade of traumatising legal battles, involving two separate imprisonments totaling nearly six years. Vichia's anniversary comes at an uneasy time, just weeks after at least four people were shot dead during a government crackdown on a garment worker protest. Opposition demonstrations demanding the government step down over irregularities in last year's election had been bolstered by the strikes as old allies united. Because the killing of Mr Chirichia to me represented an act of killing to kill a movement of the workers in Cambodia. Because Chirichia and Sam Lang Si were the key leaders, the core of the fight. They did away many times with Sam Lang Si. Even Chirichia, he lost an eye during the 1997 uh, grenade attack and they finished him off in 2004. The workers' movement needed that kind of person. It's simply not true that every person is replaceable, and the regime here knows that. Vichia was a very special personality. He had an enormous personal magnetism. He galvanized the workers in, a, in this huge industrial sector representing uh, mostly young women from all over the country. And in that, the movement he was building was a political threat. And the loss of Chia Vichia, while it may have made some people more aware of the overall situation, represented the loss of someone who really had unique abilities to galvanize the population.